so we're at Atherston now. We've been to the services. Um, I've been down to Lidl and the co-op. Lots of empty shelves, but I've got a few bits. And um, we're just waiting on the GP to get back to us uh, regarding getting in his prescriptions filled. Um, she did warn us it should be a couple of days and we're not in the best of spots. We have got a lovely canal view there. However, we're right underneath the motorway and over to the left there's a train track. So that kept me awake most of the night. Um, yeah, so not much room on the towpath, so it's not ideal to stay here. But as I say, we're, we're stuck until the GP gets back to us. So it's about the time of year that I'd be planting up for my garden um, and the roof garden this year. However, everything's shut and I can't get any seeds. So I've done this before and it was quite successful. So I'm now gonna start with what I've got on the boat and see what I can germinate. So how successful this is gonna be because of the noise of the traffic, I don't know, but let's have a go. So two years ago, I was quite successful in just cutting some cherry tomatoes in half and planting them and they grew into some lovely plants that gave me lots of tomatoes however I did have a what did I have done? No, I had electric Propagate. propagator I had an electric propagator to help me with this anyway as I say this is just what we've got so I've got a little bit of compost left here so we're going to give it a go if it doesn't work I've just wasted three tomatoes no big deal We've got a bit of compost in the bottom, half a toilet roll. I must admit, it makes me quite sad that I can't at this time of year wander around nurseries and um, garden centres because it's something I like to do. So all I'm going to do is pop those in. As I say, the year before last, when I was living in the house, I had a successful crop doing it like this with tomatoes. Also done some beef tomatoes, but I haven't really got room on the boat for those. Now, as I say, keeping them at good temperature is going to be difficult because it's either too cold or too warm on the boat. But we'll see what we can do. What do they say? Ne necessity is the mother of all invention. So we'll see if we can set up something I might use. I think I've got some cling film. I'll try not to use it. Um, so I might cover them in a bit of cling film to see if that helps get them started, get them germinating. So that's my tomatoes done. Uh, pepper, a monge too and a slice of courgette. No idea if this is gonna work, but let's give it a go. Right, okay, so here, we've got some compost. I found these in the cupboard. Now, I used to use these to make cakes and bread, mini slices of bread, but let's see what we can do. So I've got here some monge too, and I'm just gonna pull the seeds out. Now it's possible I won't get anything from them, but if nothing else, it's entertaining me, entertaining me to try. That's about it with the Munch too. And I'll put those there so I can label them later. Now I've 
no reason to think that the peppers won't work. I was tempted this morning when I went down to Lidl to buy another bag of compost. But I was thinking I haven't got anything to plant so it doesn't matter. Right now the courgettes, they're the ones that I think are less likely to propagate. But we'll have a look. And I could only really find four seeds. Let's have the seed but I don't want that in there. So we'll have a go and see if we can manage to get some courgettes. So, you can join me again if I have any signs of life and get any success. Fingers crossed.